Uh, this time of year, different plants and flowers are at their peak. And one of the most unique places to see them in bloom is at the Minnesota Goose Garden. And this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson takes us to Sandstone to explore the garden and its one-of-a-kind design. That cottonwood there is the highest part of the goose's back. From ground level, you may not have any idea. That path takes you down the tail. What Sue Foss is talking about. So this is the main spine of the goose right here. But from a bird's eye view, you see that her forest is shaped like a goose. Then I decided that I would want a simple shape for it, and I would like it in the shape of a goose. We're going by the choke cherries. It took a lot of planning to get it just right. Sue began growing her garden near Sandstone in 1989. She and her husband Rod planted over 500 different kinds of flowers, shrubs, and trees to honor the Ojibwe people, a way of life that hits close to home since the couple adopted an Ojibwe girl named Lara. Ever since I was a little girl, I. I was fascinated by the culture. There's over a mile of pathways through the goose and the gosling next to it. Plants and sculptures that Sue made herself are scattered throughout. Signs with descriptions are written in Latin, English, and of course Ojibwe. But the main attraction this time of year... Oh, they're just glorious. ...is the state flower. I come every year to look at the lady slippers. You don't see them often, so here they're in their natural element and they're gorgeous. It takes about 20 years before lady slippers bloom. The Ojibwe people gave them that name. Plants that you see there are well over 100 years old. These are over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. Wow. The flowers are at their peak for about a week and a half, and then they fade. But they're just one part of what's happening here. When her daughter died in 2016, Sue knew she wanted to make the garden a place Laura would be proud of. Got real antlers for him. Her favorite words in the morning are, I've got an idea. We've been married for 57 years, and I'm amazed at her every day. Sue hopes the visitors gain an appreciation, not just for her garden, but for the Ojibwe way of life. How they use nature and how they respected nature was a beautiful thing. In Kennebec County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The Minnesota Goose Garden is open from Memorial Day weekend to October. It is free to enter, but they do accept donations. We have more information on our website.